Easter morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning here in uh, mid-August. I'm up here in uh, Wyoming, believe it or not. It's the first time I've ridden Wyoming. Got Tyler up in front. Just letting the dust settle a little bit. Um, got Garrett behind me. We just left the trucks a little bit, just six minutes ago, maybe. So I've never been on any of these trails. You can see there's a little bit of dust hanging in the air still. It's crazy because it's sandy right there and then you get into the rocks. They come in the offshoot. slick that is because you're in like moon powder sand dust and then you got these little rocks well a million of them and they're not that little So back there a ways, I actually pinched one of my radiator hoses, just tipped the bike over. It's uh, probably have another video all about it, but it's it's a it's kind of a design flaw. It, when they drop the radiators, KTM when they drop the radiators down for more clearance and you know lower center of gravity and all that stuff, one of the unintended unintended consequences is you can easily cut your radiator hose down on the left side of the bike on that left radiator because um, the radiator gets pushed back in towards the bike and it kind of just cuts the radiator hose on on the one of the screws down there doesn't matter if you have radiator guards or not because it just pushes the bike pushes the radiator back in and cuts that well I've just been too lazy thinking it won't happen to me. There's a couple things you can do to... Um, there's one really good thing you can do to kind of mitigate that. Get some hard plastic, a couple different types of ways you can... Oh, you can do it. But I just... When I was setting up this bike, it was one of six that I was riding and it's just like... And I gotta draw the line somewhere. Anyway, um, luckily, because I'm riding with Tyler today, um, and I didn't even bring hardly any of my tools because I've got my drone with me. So if I come with Tyler, a lot of times I'll bring extra camera stuff and not extra tools, and he's got the tools. So he had um, some silicone tape. So we did some silicone tape around because it was just a small little puncture in the hose. It was just leaking slowly. So put silicone tape around it and then um, put a, an extra hose clamp and then a few zip ties. We were going to do two hose clamps, but we only had one hose clamp that we could get to work. Um, we put a bunch of 
zip ties on there for a trail hack. When I get home, I'll have to replace the hoses and then actually get a protective piece of plastic right there so that doesn't happen again. Um, happened twice, pretty much twice to Tyler. Um, it's happened to a number of other guys that he's seen that have talked to him on, on Instagram about it. Um, so it's a, it's a common, common problem, actually, on these Kados. I love the way the bikes feel. I love the way they handle, but that is a problem. And I've, you know, tipped the bike a number of times, and you just tip it just right where the radiators get kind of pushed back in, and the radiator's totally fine. It just pop, it pushes in, and then it bends back. It just goes, it just flexes. Flex is a better term. The radiator flexes in, cuts the hose on the motor case. But with the trail hack, I've just been watching it, see if it's still leaking. It doesn't look like it is. Topped off my coolant. Put some water in there. And then I turned my radiator fan, the thermostat on my radiator fan down. I normally run it, at, set it so it'll come on at 185. Um, just to keep a little bit lower pressure, I've got it now set so it'll turn on at 170. So I turned it down 15 degrees, which means the fan is running more, but the idea is hopefully it'll keep a little less, make, sure, make it so there's less, less pressure in the system is kind of my thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that 15 degrees won't actually do anything as far as pressure goes. I don't know. Because maybe it doesn't expand until it gets to boiling point. You would say 212, but it's gonna boil more like 200 up here. Actually, with it being engine ice, it might have a higher boiling point. I'm not sure. Physics, I need to look that up and be like, would having 15 PSI lower pressure, or having, a, you know, 15 degrees lower, if you could, that's if it even can keep it that much lower. Does that actually create less pressure inside the coolant system? That's a high school physics teacher question. And I don't know. 